Good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Smart Fox TV. Remember, if you do like our videos, please subscribe. March 21st is National Fragrance Day, so I thought it was appropriate to give a little history on fragrances and perfumes. Fragrances have played an important role throughout history. Royalty flaunted it, businesses, empires were changed by it, and fragrances can take you back to a memory as it had powers of a time machine. Cleopatra was said to have greeted Mark Anthony on a boat with perfume sales and became the queen of Egypt. Perfume is associated with mystery, fantasy, and imagination, but perfume has not always carried a hint of romance. The first forms of perfume were during the Mesopotamians. A tablet found reveals that a female chemist named Taputi was the first recorded perfume maker. The most precious of all ingredients was the cedar of Lebanon. The ancient Greeks take credit for the first liquid perfume. It was used for worshiping and pleasing gods and goddesses and played a crucial role in the development of perfumery. The Romans may not have invented perfume, but they gave its name perfume through smoke. The public baths were a big thing in ancient Rome and an emperor once had a silver pipe installed so his dinner guests could be sprayed with rose water. But across Arab land where perfume played a central role in ceremonies, they were able to be clever and capture the fragrance as the prophet Muhammad puts it in the 7th and 8th century. It's been given to me to love three things, women, perfumes, and prayer. The Arabian physician to be the first person to have mastered the distillery of rose petal in the 10th century. Italians perfected the art and took it to a whole nother level, but it was in 1370 in Hungary that the perfume as we know it was really born by Queen Elizabeth and she inspired the first perfume, a fusion of aromatics, including lavender and rosemary, and was called Queen of Hungary Water. Soon the epicenter of perfumery moved from Italy to France, thanks to Queen Catherine de Medici of all, who triggered a frenzy in the perfume world. The king demanded a different fragrance every single day. Louis XIV was terrified of bathing. He is said to have taken three baths in his whole life. It was thought that the water spread diseases, so the less you bathe, the less vulnerable you were. And Louis took the trend of perfumery to new heights by commissioning his perfumer to create a new sense each day. The perfumers were achieving even greater status, and the power and competition to supply the perfume court was beginning to be ferocious. Montpellier and Grasset went head to head and bottle to bottle outdo each other. These regions experimented the growing of fragrance and newly introduced fragrant plants. To this day, Grasset is the heartland of perfumery in France. During the Victorian era, Queen Victoria did not like over lavish use of fragrances. She chose delicate flowers such as lavender and jasmine and violet to be popular. In the 1920s, fragrance was revolutionized as Chanel No. 5, still the world's most iconic fragrance, as the Chanel No. 5 launched. It is said that there were samples 1 through 10 and samples 20 through 24, and Miss Coco was supposed to choose the one she liked the best and she chose number five, and the rest is history. Quite a few classic fragrances that are worn these days were made in the 1920s and 30s. In the 1950s, fragrances were something women wore on holidays, birthdays, until Estee Lauder made youth do. This was an oil that could be used during a bath and it would help boost the woman's day. So perfume became something that women could indulge in every day. Since that time, fragrances have continued to grow and inspire. Here are some of the most popular brands. Chanel No. 5 remains the world's most famous perfume, a powdery floral launched by Gabrielle Coco Chanel, celebrity endorsed by Marilyn Monroe. J'adore by Dior is the fashion house number one selling fragrance featuring Charlie Serum. Chalamar worn by Rita Hayworth and Bridget Bardot. 
It has a spicy, warm fragrance with bergamot. Whatever fragrance you wear, I hope it brings you memories for the future. And I hope you enjoyed this journey through the history of perfume. Have a wonderful day. Welcome to our good news. When a picture of empty strollers near a Polish railway went viral, a bunch of donations began pouring in for Ukrainian refugees. At a Polish station, women, children, and infants who fled Ukraine can now pick up clothes, toys, strollers, diapers, and more right after they get off the train. Many of these strollers are left by other mothers and include handwritten notes of encouragement to the moms. Although an initial grassroots movement, it has now become more organized over the weeks and spread by word of mouth. Waiting rooms in the train station near the Medka border crossing from Ukraine are now warehouses for food, diapers, and clothes. Beyond the railway station, volunteers have been offering rides to refugees who arrive to take them to a place to stay. As an update to another Ukraine news story, we reported that earlier this month, hosting company Airbnb had been opening up rooms for free in various neighboring countries for the refugees. Since then, over 400,000 rooms were booked in Ukraine and about $15 million was spent in an effort to send money over to the Airbnb hosts who are still in Ukraine. These Airbnb hosts were planning to use the money to raise funds for their army and other needs. Other than this fundraiser, Airbnb.org has also received more than $5 million in direct donations from people in 92 countries. They are planning to set up temporary housing for 100,000 Ukrainian refugees in Europe and North America. Some of their hosts, about 21,000, have also generously opened up their homes to host the refugees. An additional $26.5 million has been set aside to fund food, lodging, and other necessities for the refugees by Airbnb employees and their co-founders. We hope you enjoyed today's good news. This is Kim. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. This is Shane. And thanks for watching Smartbox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.